Good morning, friends and fellow traders, and happy Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, April 22nd, 2022. Yesterday, we had a nasty little price reversal. I had mentioned to watch for the potential pop and drop as we gapped up into resistance levels in the chart yesterday. Um, no way of knowing that this would occur, of course, but um, certainly there was a um, pretty strong response back down yesterday as we learned that the Fed is planning to be aggressive on raising interest rates, creating some issues out there and also putting our bonds um, in an interesting position with the five-year now inverted over the 10 and the 30 year bonds. So kind of a difficult situation here and that's um, actually playing some pretty rough, um, uh, well, giving some pretty rough um, signals in the market, uh, particularly for the NASDAQ. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, doggone it, those bears um, got busy yesterday and really went to work um, with some selling after we finally kind of realized that the Fed was or is going to do something about inflation. So we reacted negatively to this resistance level in the chart yesterday, leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle. However, not all is lost here in the Dow. As a matter of fact, nothing terrible just yet has occurred in the Dow. Let's notice that we do have this upside trend and that we are holding right in there on that little bit of price support in the chart. So the question for today is, will the bears find enough energy to follow through to the downside or will the bulls step in to defend? Now, one of the reasons the Dow held up, I think, better than other indexes is we've seen a remarkable shift toward defensive sector stocks and more of those conservative dividend paying type um, stocks out there in the market. And that certainly helped the Dow. So you'll want to watch that closely here. Now, if we were to continue to fall, we're going to have to watch this level right through here. A breakdown below this level would be a critical failure, I think, in the Dow. So watch that carefully if that were to occur. Now, if the bulls can come in and engage, then we have that possibility that we could bounce right back in here and come right back up on the Dow. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that may not be the case in the other indexes. We'll look at those in just a second. But looking right here, notice in the Dow, we are still holding above our 50-day moving average, which is the only index right now um, capable of holding the 50-day at this point. Let's take a look at the SPY. The SPY left behind a pretty ugly pattern here. As you can see, um, we have a bearish engulfing candle and now a lower low showing up in the chart. But holding on to some hope here, we did not make yesterday, we didn't make a lower low. So we're kind of hanging in there on, um, on this little support. So no tragedy just yet. Um, if this were to push on through for a lower low, however, um, that really starts to cause some problems, I think, for the market. Now, watch right here. We have some price resistance above. If the bulls can engage, we've got a long ways to go to push back through that upside move. Is it possible? Boy, I tell you, with the volatility that we've seen in the market recently, anything is possible. So watch for that possibility. If those bulls work to defend this support area, then we might rally back up into this um, into this resistance in the chart. If those bears, however, come in and engage, then I think we want to watch some support down in here. If they push on through to the downside, um, watch for that um, in the chart. And of course, um, our um, SPY broke its 50-day moving average once again in here um, as it made that lower uh, lower high so not not a bullish signal
signal uh, for the market at all. Then if we take a look at the QQQ, this is where the real damage um, occurred yesterday, technically. Um, obviously, we did create that lower low in the chart and we failed here at price resistance in the chart but the worst of it is that it did make a lower low so not only did we catch that lower high um, in the chart we have created a lower low and that possibility does exist that we could follow through then to the downside if you notice down here in the chart there's a little teeny tiny bit of price support right in here but if the bears were to really engage here on this today and bonds being inverted might be one reason they might do that then this could drag um, us back down to retest these lows here in the NASDAQ. So watch that close. And keep in mind that if the NASDAQ sells off, there's so many of the big techs in the um, SPY. If the NASDAQ continues to sell off, it may drag that SPY down as well. So keep a close eye on that. Now, if those bulls can re-engage, they have plenty of room. If they can hold this area in here, they have plenty of room to move back up to retest resistance in the chart. So if those bulls find some reason to engage, keep a close eye on that. It may be a little bit challenging here um, trying to determine direction um, on the QQQ because next week we have a, a bucket load of those big tech earnings coming out and there's a lot of hope on those. So just watch that close. It could be a challenging day here in the market as we slide into this weekend with lots of uncertainty. If we take a look at the um, Russell IWM, bearish engulfing candle lower high following this little downtrend here to to the downside we reacted negatively to all of that price resistance here in the chart but we didn't really take out a low yet so we have this price support right in here that we could hold and bounce right off of that area but i kind of suspect um uh, IWM could easily slide down through here. If those bears engage at all, that possibility that we could push on down and retest these lows here in the Russell. So watch that close. And just keep in mind that if we do rally back, we just have a massive level of price resistance above here in the Russell, which will make this pretty darn challenging uh, for it to get through. We're gonna need something special in the market, I think, to maybe move us up through that. So watch that carefully and of course that also failed back below its 50-day moving average it is holding right along that 500 day moving average but a failure in here as we continue this longer term downtrend does not look bullish for um, the Russell at this point so we're gonna need a big bullish push to turn that around let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX yesterday I mentioned that we were kind of holding in there on that 20 handle and um, with the gap up in the morning I said we might clear that and push to the debt you know push this on down but unfortunately we reversed right at those price resistance levels and bounced back up here in the chart so kind of bouncing around between this 20 and 25 handle in that chart we'll want to watch that closely I don't think anything gets really bad here um, in the market unless we break above that 25 and start to hold up here that's where we could really run into some trouble so keep an eye on that if those bulls can find reason though to engage and defend those support levels we could see that modestly pull back today watch that carefully and then let's take a look at our um t2122 now our t2122 um yesterday at the gap up open our t2122 was up here and we made this big of reversal um, all the way back down yesterday after we find out that the Fed is planning to be aggressive on these rates. So gapping, um, gapping in, and I mentioned yesterday, watch for the potential of the pop and drop. Didn't know that that was going to occur, but we certainly had the setup for it. So being all the way up here and reversing all the way back down to this area does suggest that we still have that opportunity. If those bears can um, continue to engage here, then we'd still have a ways to go before we reach an oversold condition 
in the market. So if uh, sliding into the weekend, if those bulls find a tough time buying up the market here, um, look for that possibility that we could see a painful sell-off yet today. However, if those bulls can find reason to engage, we've opened up a big upside opportunity for them to bounce back. So watch carefully for that as well, because they could defend those support levels in charts. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, this gives a little bit of hope to those bulls out there because if you notice right in here, even though we pulled back so hard yesterday in the market, notice we didn't take out these recent lows here in T2108. So we still have 50% of our stocks holding above the 40-day moving average, which honestly was a little bit of a surprise to me at the end of the day yesterday that they held up that well. We, we are reacting negative still to this resistance up here, but you got to give this up to the bulls. They're holding in there and working really hard to defend. So watch that area right there. If we were to fail back down below there, that's I think where we could really see some problems here in the market. And if those bulls can step in and defend some of these support levels, maybe that doesn't occur. And then if we take a look at our T2107, same thing here where we rallied up and we tried to stretch out through that resistance level in the chart early uh, on the day yesterday, but we did turn back around. Again, the good news is we didn't break down below these recent little breakdown lows. So we held up better than I would have expected here with such strong selling yesterday. And if you take a look, 37% uh, of the stocks holding above their 200 day. So kind of an interesting mix here. You know, it's kind of like one of those old Arsenio Hall shows, uh, things that make you say, hmm, I'm not really sure um, what um, the outcome of that is going to be. If we take a look at T2101, once again, um, even with that selling yesterday, we didn't get any kind of an extreme move in um, in volume in the market. So still very interesting how anemic the market is, and we're not getting um, anything in really good signals here on T2101. Um, as a matter of fact, if we look at our index charts here, you can see that heavy selling yesterday um, that came in really didn't produce a big pop in volume. And if we look at the SPY, same thing, a little bit stronger, but it wasn't anything major. Now the QQQ did have a little bit of an elevation in that in that volume, in that selling yesterday. So we will wanna keep that in mind. QQQ is, is suffering here pretty heavily and with bonds, um, bond yields continue to rise. They may continue to see some of that pressure. So watch that closely if the QQQ continues to sink. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. But um, our economic calendar is a rather light day today um, with only a PMI composite flash coming in here yesterday. Now, we largely kind of ignored, I don't know if you guys noticed that yesterday, but the Philly Fed number was not a positive number. Um, but we just kind of ignored it um, as we waited for Jerome Powell to, to speak. Um, we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that PMI number today. That has that potential with being the only major report to move us in the market today if that were to disappoint. So watch that carefully today. And then um, no Fed speak today. How about that? Um, kind of an interesting change. So <laughs> um, we will want to keep an eye um, um, on how we continue to react to, to the pending Fed rate increase, though, as we move forward. Um, let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar is a little bit lighter today. We have a little bit of a break here with not as many notables for the day. So let's take a look at some of those notables here. Um, if we take a look at, um, we've got AXP reporting today. Looks like AXP may have disappointed this morning and heading lower here off of this downtrend. We've got a little bit of a wedging pattern in here, but um, that could be um, that could be problematic uh, for AXP. So watch that close. We've got Cleveland Cliffs um, reporting today and looks like Cleveland is moving up here in the pre-market. Still hasn't quite been able to break back through that resistance, that little resistance level up here in the chart. They're sure making an attempt to uh, push to the upside here this morning. And unfortunately, that doesn't help us out much 
um, here in the market because we have um, all of this um, inflation in these commodity prices continuing to hold them up relatively well. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely here if that were to continue. Um, seeing those commodity prices continue to rise. Um, then we've got uh, stocks like KMB, Kimberly Clark reporting. There's a big pop in Kimberly Clark. Again, consumer defensive stocks are finding an awful lot of buying here recently. We'll talk about those in just a second, but um, a nice upside move. And now this big pop here this morning on earnings, possibly breaking through some resistance might be worth keeping an eye on KMB here in the near future. We're also going to hear from Schlumberger, SLB. Now Schlumberger had some selling yesterday, but it looks like it's trying to pop just a little bit this morning and come back up. We're also going to hear from Verizon. Um, Verizon um, going the opposite way, um, reversing to the downside. So it looks like we've got a, quite a mix here on these earnings reports this morning, um, which kind of leaves that question open. Who is going to engage those bulls or the bears today? So watch that carefully and closely. By the way, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful and help in, in you planning your day ahead, then please continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment. You know, guys, I, I don't try to provide any prediction out there and if you uh, if you paid attention yesterday to the morning prep I talked about um, while we were gapping up to watch for that potential of a pop and drop now I don't know that that's going to occur but that's one of the things that I think people are finding useful in these videos is that I'm not trying to add any prediction into these charts. It's just looking at the chart for what it is, not for what I want it to be. And if you guys find that helpful, please continue to support the channel, um, leaving those brief comments, sharing these videos out there with your fo uh, friends and things on social media. I really do appreciate it. And also, thank you so much for supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it i have to tell you because of um, that kind of thought process the folks in right way options we did a we had a really profitable day yesterday um, as a result of um, just having your eyes wide open on these charts so um, I would welcome anyone if you have an interest in what we do come on over and give us a visit um, and we will have an open house coming up here soon so keep your eye out for that potential open house um, um, where we'll invite everyone in to kind of take a look and see what we do over there let's take a look at um, take a look at some stock setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence make sure you're following your trading plan following your trading rules because this market is a dangerous market right now with the whipsaws and make sure you understand the risk of every single trade um, that you consider here in the market let's take a look at one you guys know that i had mentioned clorox here and i'd placed a price alert um, on Clorox if I can find the right chart that I put that price alert on and as you can see um, it, it, it did breach that price alert yesterday now I think being a defensive sector stock we might want to keep an eye on Clorox because we have this um, rather large gap that could be filled now now that we're trying to break through that resistance so watch this carefully in here and don't rule out the possibility that we could Pull back here and rest just to follow along on the trend here before we move on higher. But watch that closely. Clorox could be something um, that could be positive here in the near future. So watch that closely. Take a look at um, CRWD. Now CRWGD, um, I was looking at this for a possible upside move. And you can see I placed a price alert. One of the things I don't do is predict the entry. I wait for the buyers or sellers 
to show me the direction before I hop on a trade. And obviously they did not show me um, a bullishness here um, in that chart breaking down. So now that we're breaking the support level in the chart, CRWD, we will have to watch that carefully. If we rally back and show failure, that could be the setup short. So watch that carefully. If it's going to be bullish, we have to recover that support level in the chart and prove to hold it and then we can resume the uptrend but not until then so watch that closely in um, that chart you may want <clears throat> may want to keep um, an eye on some of these commodity prices out there and food prices um, i've been mentioning stocks like hershey continuing to run to the upside very very strong um, looking extremely um, happy here to have institutional support in these stocks. Um, I think what we're seeing guys and I think what we have been seeing is a major rotation from tech over to, to these um, more uh, basic um, necessity type stocks, consumer staple type stocks that pay dividends. So keep an eye on that. Hershey, if you take a look at um, Schmuckers, SJM, um, reaching out, trying to break out here, KHC, um, ripping to the upside here. You know, mac and cheese um, probably is going to be in high demand um, as inflation goes higher and, and consumers have to make some different choices in their purchases. So keep an eye on things like that. Even old, really old boring stocks like Colgate Palmolive, um, Kellogg's, uh, General Mills, boy, they don't get much more boring than, you know, cereal companies that have been around forever, but lots of strength in those stocks. So keep a close eye on those. Another place you might want to keep an eye on here. Yesterday we saw um, gold push down and then reverse and head back up with the thought of those interest rates. Getting a little bit of bearishness here this morning, but I want you to keep an eye on this little bit of a trend that we have in here. If we can hold this pullback, hold this support in there, watch for that opportunity that that could perk up and start move moving higher. So just keep a close eye on that, just in case um, those turn back around and start moving up. You know, we, we see lots of those commodities like um, Alcoa got hurt yesterday on its earnings report dramatically pushing down. So it's possible, guys, that we may have peaked out on some of these uh, commodity prices. And as we start uh, this failure pattern, remember, when we make a lower high in a chart and then follow it by our lower low, we're, we are following that downtrend. So any rally back now in Alcoa could set up that next opportunity for a short. And speaking of those short trades, you might want to take a look at some of these stocks in the financials. Take a look at like BAC. BAC failing at this lower high. I mentioned this one yesterday. It did follow through to the downside. Um, keep a close eye on that. Some of these are struggling. BAC, Citibank, WFC, even Goldman Sachs um, could create that failure in here. Notice we have a resistance high, big old pop and drop in that chart. So watch that carefully if we push on lower um, for that next opportunity maybe in some of these financials for a short. And we know that from the numbers that we got earlier this week that their mortgage applications are falling hard. They're half of what they were just one year ago and that's creating some complications for some of the major banks. So watch those carefully for some potential shorts. So with that, guys, I'm running out of time here for this video. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. I do truly appreciate it. And I want to wish you all a fantastic weekend. Take care, y'all. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.